Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Monday, November 13th. The search continues this morning for a driver who struck Sixer standout Kelly Oubre and then took off from the scene. Oubre was hit by a car as he was crossing the street near his home near the intersection of Hicks and Spruce Streets on Saturday night. The car's driver's side near hit Oubre in the chest. He's now home recovering with a fractured rib. He is expected to eventually return to the court before the end of the season. Meantime, police are reviewing surveillance footage to identify the car and its driver. 13 Lincoln University students will be holding a news conference in Harrisburg this afternoon, fighting for state funding for their school. Those students, they marched 66 miles from the campus all the way to the state capitol over the weekend. They want lawmakers to approve $640 million in funding for four state-related universities. During their trip, the students say they got more than $7,000 in donations from alumni, fraternities, nonprofits, and also complete strangers. Well, the big Camp Out for Hunger campaign happening right now at Xfinity Live. Personalities from 93.3 WMMR will be there through Friday morning collecting food and donations for Phil Abundance. And there are events for families to enjoy as well, including a drone show happening tonight. All right, checking out our forecast. Speaking of uh, night, it's been cool in the evenings and chilly starts to this morning, Kate. Yeah, it was a cold morning out there. Janelle is just looking at morning lows and many spots hit their lowest temperature so far this fall early this morning. But the good news, those were the coldest temperatures we're going to feel all week. We've got a little bit of a warming trend to talk about as we go through this week and toward the weekend. Today's high is just 52 degrees after this bitterly cold start. It's sunny and crisp in the afternoon. The high is 52, which is about five degrees below average. Tonight, clear skies, very cold again. Not quite as chilly as last night, but many spots below freezing again tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine, a couple degrees warmer. 55 will be the high tomorrow, which is closer to average for the time of of year. We are dry. You can see a system up over New York State and the Great Lakes that's staying north of us and high pressure overhead will slowly start to warm us up through the week. In fact, by Thursday and Friday, we're in the 60s. Then a cold front arrives Friday night into Saturday morning. That brings our next chance for showers plus a cool down for the weekend. So your next seven days, we're chilly for now, a gradual warming for Thursday and Friday, and then we knock the temperatures right back down, but the sun returns for the weekend. Janelle, I'll send it back over to you. All right, thank you, Kate. And remember, you can get Kate's, Kate's up-to-date forecast and the latest stories here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That is the latest for your morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great Monday.